Howdy cowdies, that time of the week, walkly, weekly, walkly, week about, weekly walk about, huh? Cop that one. Uh, what have we got this week? Uh, decorative arts, Australiana, fine art. Good auction, heaps of good stuff. Lovely Australian silver uh, fob chain, nice little miniature, painted on porcelain. Ladies fob watch, some lovely little sort of Victorian games. Little round ones over the back. Some gold and more silver and more gold. Nice little Australian chain there with the map of Aussie down the bottom. With Robinson's cough drops tin over the back with the paper labels, the ripper. Collection of postcards from Yak and Danda. No name cigarette tins, literally. No name is the brand. So, uh, Magic Lantern slides, Melbourne Olympic stuff. Nice little uh, micro models shell tanker over the back. Golden West tobacco tin. Beacon tobacco tin. Little ivory elephants, more cool postcards. I really like the one of the chap up the top of the tree. Can't quite see it in the image here, but there's better images on the website. This little postcard's interesting, hand painted and kind of well done. Signed on the back by Grace. We've attributed it to Grace Seacom. Now, some people will disagree and say she didn't paint. But this, whoever's painted this isn't an artist, but they know what they're doing. And it wouldn't surprise me at all if it was her. The signature on the back looks to be pretty close to the way she signed some of her pottery. So we've only attributed it to her. Um, some more Magic Lantern slides over the back. <coughs> the early Melbourne or Ballarat. Another nice little Magic Lantern slide. Fantastic postcard of kids dressed up. <coughs> A little Jerry G. Tarax Club badge. Interesting little sort of cereal toy things over the back in their packet. Still footy shaped. There's heaps of good stuff in the sale. Hoadley's Butterscotch Tins a Ripper. Nice postcard album of all Australian World War I postcards in it. I like these. Little Wrigley's PK chewing gum wrappers. Good little, good, some good bits in the jewellery cabinet. Australasian Federal Referendum Certificate. Pretty cool little retro dressing table. Sort of displaced drawers. Big full length mirror over the back. Shame about the bastard in it. Nice little pair of watercolours. About 19, 20, 30, after sort of Harrison Fisher girls. Interesting little couple of uh, modern etchings and aquatints. These are both look to be French. All right, little French mountain scene and a little French coastal scene. Both got all their details and dates and titles. Just can't figure out who the artists are. But that's never too bad a thing. This is pretty cool. Big mixed media by Melbourne graffiti artist Jest. It's made out of old street signs with trees sort of being painted over the top, encroaching upon it. Cool thing. All the details on the back. Nice little collection of tins here. Some good Australian coins, some more good tins, some bushels and other strainers. Magic lantern slides. Heaps of sort of cigarette cards, some ladies' corsets and girdles and things. More cards, more tins, more magic lantern slides. A little lot of blokey gear, harmonicas and stuff. Heaps of cereal toys. A little sort of shotgun shell loader. Currency, notes. Yeah, some nice stuff. And then a little other little jewellery cabinet. Bakelite telephones. A little box of kind of cool old soft toys and felt toys and stuff. A little box of blokey gear, microphones. Cool old green velvet bow tie. Sort of NASA stickers. Nice blue velvet or velour. Um, blazer, Hawthorne jumper, nice little sort of nurse's cape with a couple of blokes' dinner suits, and some oriental robes, nice big 100% silk reversible one on the back. Cool lot of retro gear, boxes of mixed items, big groups, lots of mixed items. There's a big tiger fan, pretty cool. Linen with some china and glass, ladies' handbags, books. Outdoor plant stands. What else have we got? A lot of sort of slide projectors and film editing gear up the top of the table there. Some set to chairs, all sort of retro. Uh, hat boxes. Nice guitar amplifier head there with some cases and other sort of stands and stuff. Boxes of china and glass. There's some good gear in there and some good gear in there. Fishing rods, we've put the big fishing rods with the LV reels with an arc welder. Nice old bottles and jars and stuff. Big group lots, big beer cans, boxes of mixed items, elephants, boxes, 
Poof eyes. A little painting, a little, I think, Philippines listed artist. Interesting Australian school piece. A little group lot with an amp. Cowboy boots, spotlight, box of old surfing videos and holding hubcaps. What else have we got? Nintendo. Looks to be a Mega Drive, some Carters, the first sort of six years of Carters Antique Guides. Ephemera, good old Wanganui. Books, China, sort of domestic wares. Just depression glass, it doesn't glow the, the, the green glass in front there, so we've put it with the nice green canisters. A couple of nice bits of art pottery, they're both damaged. Nice collection of Australian studio pottery. Some earlier Australian pottery. English stuff, jewellery, Beatles gear, nice big lot of ephemera pertaining to Bendigo and stuff. It's another cool big painting up the top there by Jest, featuring a Hitachi train. I think it's signed and dated 2010. Good little box of blokey gear, film cameras, movie cameras, walking sticks, fire hoses, pretty china. The two shelves are one big lot. Little rocker cover there off a little Morris four cylinder. It's a folder full of old labour. Um, voting sort of ephemera. Telephone with some big pairs of shears and stuff. Got some nice paintings this week considering it's an art auction. Got a little series of three little Aboriginal watercolours there by Duck Duck. Do a bit of research, DUK DUK. You'll find out he's quite an important artist. It's not his real name. Little British school watercolours, quite sweet. What else have we got? Pretty cool. Cane Cutter Oil. By Assigned Edwards. Just can't remember who the artist is. North Queensland artist. Good little example. This is nice. The Bill Bevan there of the water bird. What else have we got? A little raw group artist. This is an early example of her work as well. Strocky? Stracky? little thing. And have some nice Aboriginal pieces, all the details on the back of them and stuff like that. A couple of nice Paul Margosi watercolours of Native Australian birds, even though they're not Native Australian, they're just birds. See what happens when I talk. Some nice Hermansburg school watercolours. Little Basil Ranch, he's cute. I kind of like this pair of Robert, Henders Robert Grieve mixed medias. They're nice little abstract expressionist type of things. One of my favourite painters, he is. Some of these things are quite surprising how little they sell for. Hank Guth, nice pair of his sort of works, pretty typical. Who we got? Lindbergh in Kamala, another nice Hermansburg. This is an Arnoff Ibataringa. And this is nice, the Vivian, Vivian Webb oil painting there of Hobart, Boats at Rest. Yeah. Nice paintings this week, guys. Got a couple of cool Wes Pemberthys as well. A red one there. And a sort of abstracty, sort of greeny mixed, multicolored one. As we've got lamps, can't wear an Italian one, some Japanese china, Bakelite spice canisters, little Douglas Abbott Hermansburg School, some nice tins. Big photograph of Captain's Cook Cottage. Um, signed John Just. It's massive for a hand coloured photograph, 1930s thing. Uh, a little flare footstool's cute. I kind of like this little Edwardian table. Needs a little bit of work. Got a nice teak dining table. Lovely teak sideboard. Absolute ripper. Kind of like the big art glass sort of umbrella stand. Nice spelter figure as well of a couple of blokes. And there's another Jest mixed media behind it there. Some more nice tins. Got a little lot of dining chairs. Framed little boomerangs, kind of cute as well. Big Marlborough sticker. Records. Cossonne Bells, Melbourne Olympic Games cushion. Nice lot of postcards. Couple of nice tins. Nice group lot of coloured glass. Victorian Davidson's Carnival. Tins boot polished. Ladies items, sort of compacts and things, nice little group. Signed Jeff Fennick boxing glove. Some more tins, Japanese lacquerware. More sort of tins, Hardy Boys, tea tins. 
Some more nice Australian tins. A couple of mixed medias there again by Jest. Coins and medallions. Some sort of cleaning and polishing tins. Nice little Aboriginal bark painting. The big sort of tribal spear or paddle. Cool thing. Nice big fan as well. Kind of like these Masonite wobble boards. They're fantastic. There's two of them. A lot of JJ Kale records. Big Edwards tea tins a nice bit. It's a nice bit of Chris Sanders pottery. Big Peter Pilvern pottery vase. Heaps of magic lantern slides. A skull telephone. Nice little clock. More tins. More tin. Australian pottery. Amber. Wedgwood. Heaps of nice stuff this week, guys. More tins. Nice little of Dalton and Carlton Ware. Griffiths Brothers. Bottles with their sort of contents. Fluenzol. Some of them are alcoholic. <laughs> Edwards, Bushels, Singer sewing machine tin, Roba tin, with these nice little caddy products, Melbourne tin there featuring the golf caddy on it. Allen Sweets tins, Australian Pottery, Diana, Hoadley's tins, little boomerang, kind of like the little deco sort of extension speaker. A couple of nice tins with the girls on them. What else have we got? They're nice. The Picture Goer Annuals. Joyce Thompson watercolours nice. Melbourne Olympics. Radiola AWA uh, Advertising Calendar. Big Royal Albert set. More Royal Albert. Robert Beck. Robert Beck. More nice tins. Clack and Bear's Toilet Soap Box. Nice little tea set there featuring the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Kind of like this old sort of Victorian canister set. A couple of nice bits of Eric Jucket, custard powder tins a ripper, into the end cabinet, some old miners' rights, big eater potato chips, the Brighton Mays um, sort of tin there as a cracker over the back, Cleopatra's needle or something, I think it's called. Interesting little painting on glass panel, lovely old radio, fantastic big lantern, some bloody good stuff this week. Uranium glass, carnival glass, more miners' rights. Another lovely uranium glass bowl with the palm trees. Really nice Art Nouveau setting here made for Thomas Webb in Melbourne, made by Heathcote China. Rolf's tea, Van der Cake containers, Reeves Ginger Beer Hamilton, Unidir Bond Pottery. Nice, the big flaked rice tin, Temple Bar, David and Hermia Boyd, there is damage on it. Bendigo, what else have we got? The Corny's box is a cracker, he's probably going to be the what's it worth. Nice little 1888 Australian Centenary Blue Glass Bowl. The HC Slave Via Zone Oil Tins a Ripper. Derbyshire Pottery. Melrose Pottery. Cornwall's Pottery. Unknown Pottery. It's kind of nice. Well, I should have a bloody light on, shouldn't I, in this cabinet doing this? But it looks to be sort of a flathead fish ashtray. Uh, brown Rockingham glaze. It's a bloody good bit. No marks on it. Nice little watercolour over the back, I think, by Elsie Middleton. 1920s Australian thing. Interesting Australian pottery charger as well, with the sort of spirit figures. Lovely Victorian vases, Victorian figures. Nice little lion brand tin. And another lovely tin here as well for, what does it say on the lid? Candy Cooler Coupon Box. I think it's printed by, you can't really see it, can you guys? I think it's printed by Troy Dell & Co, Australian lithography company. It's a bloody good tin. Hang on, I'll pull it out and try and show it to you better. Candy cooler coupon box. Little birds on it and stuff like that. Good little thing. Don't really can, you can never see too many of them floating around. And Beej has got some other stuff here. He's still doing photographs. Big magic lantern projector. Some bloody thing in a box. Pretty cool little sort of... Little spotlight there, some nice footy badges, lovely old kaleidoscope. It's a really nice little sort of sterling silver and Meerschaum pipe. I think those lenses go with the magic lantern there, dude. Some more ephemera, old labels are pretty cool. Fantastic photo, I did HMAS Canberra, great thing. I like this little skateboard as well, Warwick Bullet Surf Skate. All original 60s, trucks, wheels, everything. Eh. That'll sort of do. I could keep rambling on. You guys know what I'm like. Hopefully we see you on Thursday night. It's going to be a bloody good sale.